here's your winner and the new women's intercontinental champion, Elle. And a new chapter in this title's legacy begins here. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I like her a lot. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, the women's intercontinental champion, L. Here's a superstar who gained inspiration from the women who came before her and blazed a trail as in ring competitors. That determination helped her make it through training with Booker T and find that next level to transform herself into a WWE superstar. She treats every match like a title defense. That's how she got to this point in her career. And from Amarillo, Texas, Odyssey Rift. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. And with that, the countdown has officially begun. The Women's Intercontinental Champion has not one but two opponents tonight. Odyssey Rift and Father Time. You know the rules of a beat-the-clock challenge, people. The math is easy. The champion has to beat Odyssey Rift faster than Bianca Belair's five minutes. Otherwise, Bianca Belair can say she's the fastest in WWE. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Impressive display of power. And Rift is keeping the match at her pace. Yeah, impressive offense from Rift. Dodged right on cue. Back suplex. Oh no. Face buster. Mito. Man, that hurts. And finds a counter. Now's her chance. Can she score the pin? And she breaks free before a one count. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. She had it scouted. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your... Putting a stop to all her showboating. And she's being held in check here. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Able to reverse. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Ooh. the counter 
Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. The power bomb. Well, what are they going to do? Oh, look at this. Look at this power. No way. Oh, right to the leg. From the top! Wow! And into the count! And she's not done yet. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. That'll turn your lights out. Double axe handle. Gets clobbered with the axe handle. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Rift is really falling behind. Wedge has to weather a storm here. Into the turnbuckle. Ooh, kick to the face. Ooh. Short clothesline. Not finished yet. Another? Yes, two! Trifecta! She was able to get out of the way. Kinshasa! Oh, man! Nice takedown. And now she has the sturdy upper hand. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. Oh, no! Someone call the orthodontist. For the win! Two count! Wards off the pin at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Both arms hurt. Trapped and nowhere to go. Except for maybe the emergency room or the top. This singles contest has a victory. Here is your winner, Al. Grabbing the win in this one is a serious accomplishment. This win might have put her ahead of the pack. She certainly grabbed the spotlight with this victory. As this match kicks off, the clock is already ticking for yet another beat the clock challenge. Moments ago, Bianca Belair beat Carmella in five minutes, and that's now the time to beat. If the women's intercontinental champion can't make quick work of Carmella, the champs should expect to hear around the clock bragging from Bianca Belair. <laughs> See what I did there? Yes, now let's move on. Double underhook up and the wing clipper. Twists the arm and a work in the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. <laughs> Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope with the reversal. She sent flying into the corner. Bulldog. And Carmella fighting back. Sequence of reversals there. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Short clothesline. Not finished yet. Another? Yes, two. Trifecta. The women's intercontinental champion looks like she's well on her way to beating Bianca's established time. Speaking of Bianca, here she comes. Oh, come on. This isn't fair. 
Carmella's recovering. Carmella with the roll up for the pin. And she pulls it off. Carmella just defeated the women's intercontinental champion. So much for beating Bianca's time, she couldn't even beat Mella. Yeah, because Bianca Belair came down here and interfered. You're leaving that part out. The IC champion is now the EST of Raw, as in the angriest. Just stop, Cole. 